This is Fujifilm X Pro 3. This is X100V. This is XE4. This is Aqua Optima, a 40mm full frame film camera. This is Olympus OMD M10 Mark IV. This is Lumix JX9. I'm filming myself with Sony A7R3. And I also have some other cameras. What is the best camera ever made? Let me tell you my opinion in this video now. Hi there and welcome to Tudor Talks. My name is Tudor Matescu and in this video I want to share with you my opinion about the best camera that was ever made in this world. So, which is the best camera? But before entering in the bread and butter of this video, please subscribe now, now, now to my channel. Lots of users are loving X100V. Lots of users are loving Ricoh GR3. Lots of users are loving X Pro 3, X Pro 2, XT3, XT2, XT1, XS10, XE4, XE3, XE2S, and so on and so on. Leica M10, and so on and so on. So every user has a favorite camera. Every user has a favorite camera. But there is just one camera, but there is just one camera that can do it all, that can do it all, that will not frustrate you, that will have the best ergonomics that it's out there, that it's having the best ergonomics that it's out there, that it's uh, extraordinary for a beginner, and especially for a beginner, but also for an advanced user. Because the sensor is not a full fine sensor and they also is not a Fujifilm APS-C sensor or a Sony APS-C sensor or even a Sony full frame sensor. No, it's a Micro Four Thirds sensor. Yes, the dangerous Micro Four Thirds sensor that will force you to learn the light, that will force you to learn photography because photography it is painting with light is not bringing shadows and having dynamic range it's about painting with light especially in street photography so drum rolls the best camera the best camera the best street camera it's lumix jx9 so here it is lumix jx9 it's my best camera for street photography. I'm sorry Fujifilm X Pro 3, I'm sorry Fujifilm X E4, and I'm sorry for all the brands, but this is the best. But being the best, this doesn't mean I will not use other cameras because all other cameras are having all kinds of benefits, but this camera has it all. It's having just one, one small downside, but we'll talk about this at that chapter. So, why I'm saying this is the best camera? Let's start with the first point. First, it's a rangefinder designed camera. It's a rangefinder designed camera. It's having the tilt screen. It's having the IBIS, very, very good IBIS. This IBIS will help you shoot at one over 60, one over 80 without having problems on the streets, being good light or low light or low light. So this means you will not have blurry images because of your handshake, because of your handshake. So this is a huge point. This is a very huge and important point. And I really do feel this. Next, the software. The software, it is crazy good. The firmware, it is crazy good. You can customize this camera to do it all. You really don't have any idea how powerful it's the customization of this camera. It's amazing it's amazing for street photography for videography and so on and so on so this camera it's very capable not just for street photography but also for videography and the next point for street photography it's this camera has the option to shoot with the screen touch to shoot and the touch to shoot gesture it is working very very good it's not leggish like on a fujifilm camera it's instantly, like when you are pushing the shutter button. So, huge deal. You work and touch to shoot, you work and touch to shoot. You are close to your subject and you are just touching the screen. No one will know that you are making pictures. I can't do this yet easily with my Fujifilm cameras. So, a huge point. But let me tell you another extraordinary point that I 
recently discovered. I really didn't know about this point till a day ago, till a day ago. This camera has the option to shoot video and while you are shooting video, you have the option to take pictures. I knew about that. So I was shooting video with the camera, don't need to use my GoPro to make some uh, POVs because I can shoot videos with this camera. And I was taking shots, okay, with the shutter button, with the shutter button. But recently I've discovered that when I'm hitting the record button, being in aperture priority, I can shoot also with the touch screen. So when I'm touching the touch screen, the camera doesn't just focus. The camera, it is taking also the picture in RAW format plus JPEG, in RAW format plus JPEG. So I can make educational videos with this camera by showing street photography, by taking a video of the scene and in the same time by taking pictures by pressing the touch screen. This is huge, this is phenomenal. And I really don't know if Lumix JX10, if they will bring it to the table, will have this option. Also this um, EVF, it's helping you a lot because when it's a bright sunny day, it will help you, it will help you get some shots. Yes, it's not an extraordinary EVF, but it's doing the job because the camera is having so much options, so much options. And after you've customized the camera, all these options, all these options, and also this is crazy, are just at the touch of your thumb. So you can control this camera, so you can control this camera just with your thumb after you've done all the settings on your firmware, on your software of your camera. So this is huge, this is extremely important. And the AF, and the AF, AF it is very good. This camera is having minimum shutter speed, auto ISO, and so on, and so on, and so on. Also, just touching a button, you will be able to make this camera work in back button focus mode. So it is crazy. I've customized this button and when I'm pressing this button, this camera is entering in manual focusing mode. So I'm pressing the button, the focus, it is locked on my subject, let's say my kids, and I can take pictures. So I really don't need to force the camera to focus again. When I'm touching again the button, the camera is exiting, it's exiting this focus lock and it's focusing again if I'm touching the button again or it's entering in the AF mode with the shutter speed. Also, you can customize the shutter speed to take pictures just when you will light press the shutter button and so on and so on and so on. So the customizations on this camera are crazy good. Also, you have film simulations, you have curve control, five points curve control. So you can do all the settings that you want to do with this camera. And the RAW files are very, very good. This camera can be shot till ISO 6400 and even at 12800. Again, for street photography, where you are okay with some noise, where you are okay with some noise. But yes, regarding the noise being a micro four thirds sensor, of course, this is the only downside. But if you don't want noise, you can use Dexo or Topaz to get rid of the noise, to get rid of the noise. So they are software solutions after you are taking the pictures. So in conclusion, again and again, I'm coming back to this JX9 and this is why I've decided to make this video. Because from my point of view, yes, this is the best camera ever, ever made. If Fujifilm will learn from JX9 and will bring to the table X Pro 4 with IBIS, with the customization controls from JX9, then there will be another talk. But for the moment, this camera has all the functions that you want in a street photography camera, all the functions. And it's more than a street photography camera. It's more than that. It can be a family camera, a vlogging camera and so on and so on. So crazy good camera. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe now, now, now to my channel for more videos like this. Please give it a like, give it a subscribe, share my video, leave me a comment and check my affiliate links if you want to buy some of the gear that I'm recommending in this video. And by the way, check my membership part of my YouTube channel where I post some private POVs and other educational YouTube videos. Thank you very much and talk to you soon. Bye bye.